Hi guys, Guy in Kalamazoo here. Um, whew, sorry for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's been a while since I've done an update video so long. Um, it's been a few months and I apologize for that. It's, uh, I don't know why I've just not done one. I, <laughs> I think it's because, um, well, this computer, which is a beautiful computer, very fast computer, I, I'm not on it that often. Um, anyway. And then other things. <laughs> I recorded this. I uploaded it a few days ago, and somebody replied there was no sound. Uh, because I always upload my videos. I don't check them. Maybe I should check them before I upload them from now on. But, uh, yeah, I did about a 20-minute video, and it, uh, uh, no sound. So I, I just tried this one, and it seems like there is sound. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyway, let's go on to... Uh, I'm going to be doing my uh, 2017 uh, end of the year recap. And again, yeah, I apologize for not doing an update video. Uh, but here it is. This is it. So, um, going back and looking at 2017, I've got Honda right here under my feet. Uh, going back to 2017 and looking. Um, yeah, the, yeah, I don't know. Highlights and low lights. I don't know if you can call it a highlight. That's a event of the year for me um, was uh, uh, I guess my number one event was my heart failure on February 23rd um, and most of you already know the story behind that but yeah I'm doing a lot better the heart's doing a lot better now if I could just lose some of this weight I'd be happy and I am actually uh, I'm a couple pounds off my all-time high right now and I'm hoping to work on that and get it down um, Followed by the February 23rd um, aortic heart valve, the new heart mechanical valve that I have. Because of that, I'm on Coumadin. Coumadin, uh, because the level was so low, I guess there was a, uh, a blood clot that, ouch, Honda, ouch. There was a uh, blood clot that um, uh, caused a stroke. And, yeah, on May 5th, I was out mowing the lawn. And it wasn't a severe stroke, but I had a stroke. And a lot of you also know that, too. And then um, I, uh, on July 10th, I changed jobs. And I now work at Oklahoma Hospital in Marshall. It's about a 30- uh, uh, to 40-minute drive from here, but it's not bad. It's a nice drive. And it's a good job, too. No, good people, good job. Um, so uh, that, let's see what else personally I'm trying to think here. Yeah. I hate this. I'm, I'm working on this. Uh, I've got a good dentist who's, uh, um, I just had a uh, scraping done underneath my gums. I just had that finished last week. And probably in about a month, I have a, I think they're going to be taking that one. And I'm going to have a bridge. Um, for now, though, they're going to give me what's called, I guess, a flipper. Um, with just a uh, temporary so I'll, I'll at least have something temporary there. Um, but yeah, I'm probably, I think, this one. Yeah, that one's okay. It's this one. That one's probably going to go, and then I'm going to have a uh, bridge. Anyway, so 2017 for me was the year for health issues. And um, I'm continuing to work on things. If I don't, then I'm going to run into other problems. So I've got some maintenance things, like with the Coumadin and... I've got some blood pressure medication that I have to check and all this. So, uh, yeah, so that's going on. Now, uh, on to the world of uh, gaming, um, because I know that's what a lot of you are here for. I'm going to uh, go through my games, and uh, I, I, I personally, I'll have a game of the year. Um, it's just my opinion. I can't really say... It's, it, I'm going to say it's not the game of the year, um, because I know that's been going out to Zelda for a while. I've not played Zelda. We don't own a Switch, although we want to get one now. Um, so, these are just my favorite games of the year. And um, I'm going to start out with, uh, let me talk about the hardware first in this year. And I've also got my tea with me. Um, oh, and you also see, I'm wearing my... Uh, um, this is actually authentic, authentic NFL uh, from the NFL shop. 
you know, you guys know I'm a big Lions fan. Uh, the Saints, they've got to beat the uh, Falcons this weekend uh, for the Lions to have any hope. And then the Lions have to win their game. I think they're playing Cincinnati Bengals, maybe, this weekend. Um, and then they're favored to win the Lions. And then uh, they're playing Green Bay. On, they have to win their next two games. And Atlanta has to lose their next two games. Atlanta's playing Carolina, I think, the last week. So if that happens, then the Lions are in the playoffs by miracle. Anyway, okay. On to gaming. Um, the hardware, I'll talk about real quick. The Xbox One X, I'll start with that, because mostly everything I'm going to talk about is uh, Xbox-related. Um, I... The Xbox One X, I really, I don't have any compelling reason to get one. There's no reason that I'm really wanting to get one. Here's Kaya now. Kaya just ran up and she's saying hello. Hi, Kaya. Okay. Um, I'm very happy with my S. I've got the uh, Collector's Edition Gears 4. The uh, It's red, laser etched. You guys have seen it. Um, it's my Gears of War. That's it. That's my Gears of War. If, maybe, if Gears 5 is announced, which I kind of think it might be on the C3, I'll talk about that later, and my thoughts about next year. Um, but if they do a limited edition, which I'm sure they will, Gears 5, Xbox One X, yes, I'll probably want to save up my money and get it. But I'm happy with my S. I do have a 4K, I have an LG, the reason I got it really was for the HDR, not for the 4K, but the HDR. And I'm happy with it. I'm just happy. I don't need an X. I, I'm, I've seen the comparisons of the resolution, especially with PUBG, where they do a split screen. Here's the S, here's the X. Yeah, the X looks better. <coughs> and I, it's fine. But I am happy with where I'm at now. It runs fast enough. It's not like laggy or slow. I'm just, I'm happy with it. So, and now Kai is drinking water. So if you guys can hear that, I hope you can. And you see uh, right behind me there, you see Honda. You can see some Honda a little bit. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. Um, okay, games that I finished. I'm going to start out with this one. This is a really good game. Um, actually, all these games I'm going to show you uh, that I finished, I obviously I enjoyed them. Um, this one is a... Uh, uh, I bought the Collector's Edition. I have the uh, Terror Belly Doll. It's not up here with me. It's downstairs. But it's a, it's a big... If you guys remember the old G.I. Joes, um, they were the size of Barbies, and I used to own one as a child, and I wish I had it today because it's probably worth some money. Um, but that's how big this guy is. But this is a good game. It's hard. You're, if you're an achievement whore like me, you are probably not. It's kind of like Gears. You are not going to get 100% completion. If you do, kudos to you. Um, I, I can't remember the name of the, uh, the hardest setting on this. I can't remember, it's a German uh, term, but um, basically you have no save points, you have no, uh, uh, it, the, the enemies are hard, and like if you get shot two or three times you're dead, um, and then you have to start it all over. You, have to, you basically, to complete this game fully, you have to play that mode, and you have to start at the beginning, go all the way to the end, and it's like a four or five hour game, probably from beginning to end without stopping, and you can't die. And if you die, you have to start all over. Um, so anyway, yes, I finished this game. This is I love this game. This is one of my games. Um, my game of the year? No, not yet. Um, let me see these I'm going to talk about, and... I also finished, um, yeah, Destiny 2, I don't have, it's digital, um, and Chris is still playing Destiny 2, he loves that game, it's kind of like me and Gears, he loves Destiny 2, um, me, I played it, and I did play it enough where I've got all three classes, my Warlock, my Titan, uh, my Hunter, 
I, they're all maxed out, not to the DLC light level, but they're maxed out to um, the uh, regular level. So, uh, um, so yeah, Destiny 2, it's a good game. Um, yeah, and I enjoyed the multiplayer. There's some aspects from Destiny 1 I do like better than Destiny 2. And I hope Bungie does listen to the fan base and makes those kind of changes. Where in Destiny 1, you're able to pick if you wanted Crucible, if you wanted uh, team, like team Deathmatch. I can't remember what they call it. Uh, um, uh, what's the other one? Not Crucible. But yeah, you're different modes of Crucible. In Destiny 1, you could pick. In this one, you can't. So, um, another game that's digital that I absolutely love, and I have to thank uh, Tyvon TV for this. Um, he, I was following his uh, playthrough of this, and on one of his videos, he said, "Oh, here's a code," and I was able to get the code, put it in, and I got it. So, uh, and that is a Super Lucky's Tale. It's such a fascinating platformer. It is really good. Um, there are some aspects of that game also that are not that good, like the camera angle. The camera angle in that game, I agree with the reviewers, the camera angle sucks really bad. Um, but Tyvon, he made the gameplay entertaining enough where, like a lot of gameplay videos, I'll just watch kind of the beginning and I'll skip through, you know, or I'll just watch the beginning and be like, mm, yeah, I'm not interested in this, turn it off. But I watched each and every one of his videos. And... Um, that game, I'm only one achievement away from uh, doing complete 100% as far as achievements go, and beating the game. Um, the game is fairly easy, up, and even the bosses uh, for each section are easy up until the very end. In the very end, it is like, uh, I've heard people compare it to Ivan even, did I think? Uh, Dark Souls or uh, something uh, like from Neo or Bloodborne or something like that. This final boss I cannot beat. And I bet if I had my seven-year-old nephew um, play it, I bet he could beat it. But I've tried, I've tried. I've watched online. i watched Mecca. Uh, Mecca's guide helped me uh, get everything else, all the collectibles, everything. Um, and once I beat that final boss, that game is 100%. Anyway... For a small little indie title, it's a, I know it's a Microsoft Studio title, um, it is a good game. Um, and it's Super Lucky's Tale. Okay, my game of the year. And this one, I think I've got completion outside of one achievement also. Except I know some DLCs have come out, and I don't have the DLCs, and i got to check. And that is, this is my game of the year. If I was going to call a game of the year... This is it right here for me. Uh, Shadow of War is a really uh, good game. A lot of people said this is like Shadow of Mordor. It's just a big DLC, which I tend to agree. There's some aspects of this game. There's not enough to really call it a huge upgrade outside of the length of the story, and it is a good story-based game. Um, the... Uh, uh, um, what do you call the system? I can't remember. The orcs. Uh, anyway, you can recruit them and build your own army. And that whole uh, system of how the orcs fight each other. And uh, it, it's really good. It is really good. After a while, it does get, it's kind of like, I call it Mad Maxi. Uh, which, by the way, I love that game too. Not knocking that game. But it's like uh, going to these different places and just doing repetitive things. And the same thing and the same thing over and over. But this game is really good, and I did finish it. I do want to go back and check any DLCs that may have come out. I'm not sure if they have. Um, I think they have, and I don't have them. Um, but yeah, there is only one achievement that uh, I do not have on this game, and it's where, and I it's big guys. You have to jump on the backs of these. They're big. I think they're called grogs, I think. Um, but you have to jump on the back of them and ride one. And uh, kill a captain, and using that grog, kill a captain. And it's just, I watch Mac, and I watch Mac's guides. Um, and I watch a few other YouTubers try to do it, and I've tried it, and it's very hard to do. I don't know why, it's just me. <laughs> very hard to do. Um, so, I know it's sad, it's a short list, but those are games that I actually finished and completed this year. Uh, that did happen to come out this year, too. These... 
I believe all came out this year um, because I am going to talk about some uh, uh, briefly. I'm going to talk about games that I've played that I continue to play uh, that are years old. And Kai and Honda. I don't know where Kai is. Okay, so let's move on. Um, these are the games that I started to play and have not finished, but I need to go back and play them. And one of them is uh, like the uh, Super Lucky's Tale, and that is uh, Ukulele. Um, this is a good game, and I need to go back. What is Kaya doing? <laughs> She's like wandering everywhere. She's like a child being irritating. Okay. Ukulele, though, is a... Uh, it's an okay game. I, I've got to really uh, focus and put my mind back into this game. Um, I'll probably erase my file or just start a new game from the beginning. Um, but I, it, it's like Super Lucky's Tale, and it's just there were areas that were... I think the camera angle on this might be bad, too, just like that uh, Super Lucky's Tale. And maybe there was something in this game that made me like, okay, no, I'm going to move on. It was either that or... Uh, maybe Wolfenstein came out, and um, I wanted to concentrate on that game. But this I do want to finish. Um, another one that, there's two more. I think these came out around the same time of each other. Prey and uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, Mass Effect Andromeda, I've been told, has been fixed. There, It was kind of buggy, I guess, when I started playing it. Um, I just, these games that I'm showing you, they're okay games, but they're games that I was not... They didn't grab my attention like the other ones did uh, for me to finish them. But I want to give them all a second chance and go back and play them. This one, praise the other one. And I've actually seen this game on people's uh, list of Game of the Year. That's why I want to go back and play this one. And I've been told, because I love Bioshock, that Prey is a combination. It's like... Bioshock and Space are uh, that kind of a combination. Um, so this is one I've got to pay attention to, too. And also, I do I would like to finish uh, Mass Effect. Um, I don't know what Kai is doing. She's just wandering around looking. Another game I just started, and I'll finish it, but eventually is uh, Dishonored 2. I started this, and it's like, okay, it's okay to me. Um... It's not grab me in again, and uh, um, it's just one that I've got to get back and play um, and finish. So, okay. So, uh, kind of in summary, uh, Shadow of War, number one for me this year, and number two, a close number two was the Wolfenstein, uh, New Colossus. Um, Destiny, I did finish. The storyline, it was okay. And um, the Super Lucky's Tale, which I know is not a AAA game, but it's a decent, it's a really decent game. It's a good game. Um, and again, Tyven, Ty, uh, with Tyven TV, thank you very much. And there will be a link to his channel down in my description. Um, okay, so games I keep playing. I keep playing. On, and okay, Gears is one of them. The Gears, I don't count this year because it came out last year. In fact, the reason why I think Gears 5 might be announced soon is they, uh, Gears 4 just announced, I think it was back in October, they're done with DLC, they're done with new maps. Uh, they are doing little events, like right now they have uh, Gears Mist going on. They had, an, uh, 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 what was it, Giving on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, I think they call it. But they're still doing events. But, for the most part, DLC is done. Um, but I continue to play that. I continue to play uh, Diablo 3 on the PC and on the console. I just, I love that game. And Season 12 just started. They buffed all the characters. My Necromancer, I'm really, really, really enjoying. Um, Gems of War. Gems of War I put away for a while. Uh, my little free-to-play game. However, I just came back to it because I noticed... Again, me being the achievement whore that I am, I noticed uh, that they had some updates and new achievements. So, I started playing it again, and they are now using Unity to build the game. And uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's just clean and fresh. The look and feel of the game is really good. The gameplay really hasn't changed much. It's still the same. Um, it's just, it's a clean, very nice game. And for being a free-to-play game, it, it's really well-deserved game. 505 Studios is really good. Um, one other game I guess I need to mention that I started, and I'm about probably a quarter to a third done with it is Cuphead. I love Cuphead. Um, but yeah, it's hard. It's hard. And I don't know if it's my age or my mentality or what. When I was a kid, I could have whipped the ass of right through that game and been done with it. Now it's like, oh, it's complicated. <laughs> it's just complicated. So, okay. So, yeah, that's kind of my year in review, my wrap up. Um, my health is doing much better. My gaming is coming along. Um, the flame in gaming, I do have to say, and I think people will agree with me, it's kind of fizzling a little bit. Um, and it, I think it started a few years ago with all these uh, big AAA games that were being announced that uh, just kind of were released and were buggy or glitchy. Uh, microtransactions, all this crap. Um, that's why I think indie games are thriving right now. Uh, there, you can go out and buy a, a cheap little five dollar title, and it's as good as something like this or this, you know. Um, and it doesn't play uh, like a hundred hours to complete. So anyway, looking ahead to next year, um, and briefly talking, I'm, I am looking forward to E three. Um, I do believe Microsoft's going to bring it because now they have the X out. So I think they have a few surprises up their sleeves. Like, I do think maybe Gears of uh, 5 will be teased. I also do think uh, Halo 6 might also be teased. I would like to see, uh, like, a new Ninja Gaiden, um, a new Castlevania. Those games would be wonderful. I would love to see that. Um, still, would it compel me to get an X? No, it would not. Um, however, if they, like I told you at the beginning of this, if they came out with a really nice X that was like Gears 5, uh, I would probably get it then. And just for that reason. Uh, because I also have the, uh, Gears of War, I think it was 3, uh, the, uh, 360. Uh, and it sits right next to my Gears of War 4 um, console that I use now. Um, maybe a game... Am I looking forward to any games next year? And off the top of my head, no. I, uh, really not. I'm sure there are a few out there that I'm like, yeah, I would like this. Um, Ori Will of the Wisp. I don't think a uh, date has been announced. I'm hoping if it does come out next year, I'll definitely be looking forward to getting that for sure so uh, anyway that is my year in review and um, I hope you guys have it is uh, today is the first day of winter um, and for those of you who really know me you know I live in Michigan but I hate winter with a passion I do enjoy winter like the next few weeks I do enjoy uh, right now, actually, all our snow just melted. Uh, we're supposed to maybe have a white Christmas. Today is the 21st of December. I have tomorrow off and um, the weekend and then Monday, of course. Um, and uh, But yeah, I, I enjoy snow for Christmas and New Year's. Um, and uh, But then after that, it can go away. Uh, after that, I can just go away and I'm looking for spring. That is what I love about Michigan. Uh, nine months out of the year, I love Michigan. And actually, I do have to say I enjoy March because March could be, uh, even though it's muddy, it could be sometimes springy, nice, uh, you know, in, it's like winter's going away. And uh, to me, March is the beginning of spring. So, anyway... I, I digress in all that, and I just wanted to say uh, Merry Christmas to you, uh, all, all of you, and Happy Holidays, and uh, have a very Happy New Year, and I hope, I don't want to make too much of a resolution, uh, my resolutions right now are I'm going to try to uh, learn something every day, 
learn at least one thing, even if it's a little thing, every day. I do want to lose weight. Uh, that's always a resolution. And uh, just be a more understanding, uh, kinder person. And if all of us put thought into that and got rid of hate in this world, it would be such a better place to live. So uh, anyway, guys, happy holidays. I hope this recorded okay with the sound. And uh, comment with your comments. And anyway, uh, thank you for watching and thank you for your support this year. And uh, God bless you all.